Um, Mr. Lewis, it's good to see you again, my friend. What can we do to make sure that low-income communities and underserved communities actually get the broadband services that they need? Thank you, Congressman, and it's good to see you as well. Uh, number one, we need to have a long-term uh, benefit for low-income consumers. Uh, number two, we need to do everything we can to promote competition in the marketplace. Uh, and number three, we need to remember that uh, the cost to consumers is not just the cost of the service. So uh, consumers are also paying uh, tremendous amount of money in fees uh, on their broadband lines right now, uh, hidden fees, below the line fees, They're paying for rentals of modems and other devices. Uh, and then there's the cost of the actual device that they use, the computer or the laptop, uh, that you know, when you have a family of four, uh, these days, if everyone's online at the same time, requires uh, multiple devices. Uh, thank you for that. You know, when it comes to those hidden fees and whatnot, do you have a suggestion on how we should deal with those? I think it starts with transparency. Uh, you know, I think Ms. Eshoo and others have uh, worked for years to mandate a level of transparency around below the line fees, and we support that. Uh, but we need to have truth in billing uh, and accuracy in uh, uh, the, the fees that are charged and why they're being charged so that people get the actual prices, uh, not just an advertised price with fees added on to it later on. Thank you, sir.